appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if you have not. One thing that's really been resonating with me when I think about alignment and I think about what next? What do I want to do? Where's the meaning at? Where's the purpose at in life, right? It's really everywhere. A lot of people, you know, they want to know what do they do with their free time? So you're not playing video games anymore. Maybe you're not distracting. Like, what do you do? So I'm going to share with you something that I'm working on that really resonates with me. Like at a cellular level, it really makes me feel good. I'm going to see it through. So if you're anything like me, I really didn't have the best role models growing up, if any. You know, you have influences in your life that when you're young that you don't really get to decide and you just go with it. Maybe you upgrade those role models. Maybe you find new ones. Maybe you don't. When I think of like my family and the role models in my immediate family that I've known or met that I've heard of word of mouth, you know, there's really nobody that I knew or heard of where I was like, man, that guy is super cool. Like that's who I want to be, which is okay. It's not knock to them. You know, a hobby of mine has looking into like my, my ancestors, looking into the past. Where did my last name come from? Who, you know, where's my bloodline, my DNA, which I've done a DNA test before, which is pretty cool. There's like ancestry.com, different ways of online that you can kind of track where you came from, who you are. I do this say every four years, probably I'll go online, I'll check the database, the record and it updates, right? Like new things come to light, more databases get uploaded and there's more records, there's more pictures, there's more marriage certificates or death certificates or you know, information from churches, etc. So through Antracy.com, I was able to track down as far as I could go back where my last name came from. And it came from like, I'm in Florida now, but my dad and his parents were from New York. They were from New York, but they moved from Mass. They moved from Mass because of Rhode Island. And they came from Rhode Island because of Canada, because one of my you know great grandfathers lived in Canada and he just decided to open a store in the middle of nowhere in Rhode Island, right? Uh, which is pretty cool. And then I keep going further back. And the very last thing that it stops at is the 1700s. There's a, a Henry Micklet, M-I-C-L-E-T. So they changed the spelling of like the last name I have as they moved across countries and, and timelines, right? So the very last dude that I can find for my last name is Henry Micklet. So the very last person where my last name came from goes back to like 1699 the middle of nowhere france when i look at that from the 1699 like this henry right my great grandfather times seven or whatever it is you know he lived in france you know thing about canada french the la the native language of french is spoke pretty commonly in certain parts of canada so through research and talking to different people i was able to learn that in the early 1700s that a lot of people from France were migrating over to parts of Canada for settlements. The military got involved to set up like stations and, and camps, etc. So my great grandfather, Henry, I don't know if he was like early teenagers, or early 20s or whatever, but this guy, Henry, he's in France chilling and he decides that he's going to move over to Canada through the military. So I think about Henry and that really inspires me to think of, hmm, like my ancestor was at one point in France, you know, why did he go to Canada? Was he drafted? Like, did he have to go over there? Did he hear of opportunity in a different land that excited him and he's an adventurer? And, but I think about that, it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna go back to that region of France and I'm probably gonna be the only person from my family line that has been back there since Henry originally left. To me, that's really cool. Like looking at the ancestry stuff, like late 1700s, mid 1800s, my family was in parts of Canada, right? I got some Canadian in me, woo, right? Uh, I'm gonna do a pit stop there and I think nobody's been back since they came down to America. I'm going to Ireland, which is the, my mom's side of the family. Like I'm willing to bet that nobody's been back there since they left there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I could be mistaken, but I don't think, I don't know anybody that's been to Ireland. You know, these things really inspire me because I think about like being alive and like the DNA inside of me, like what did other people in my family, and it branches off, right? Like your mom and dad had a mom and dad and they had a mom and dad. So you can just go freaking nuts with this, right? That's my last name. Like that, that's the name I was given. So where does it come from? That's just the route that I chose. Of all of your family history, like to be alive, right? It's to say that you survive, whether it's from 12,000 years ago, you know, whenever humans came into existence, like a lot of people went through some really tough stuff, right? In order to even be here right now. You know, I think about that when I think about like how I use my time and the motivation that I have. Like this is like the golden era to be alive with opportunity, right? Like the internet, like being able to work in air conditioning, not to break your back all the time to make ends meet. Like if you think about history, like this is just a really good time to be alive. And I think about 
what did other people in my past, mothers and fathers and grandfathers, etc., what did other people have to endure like for me to actually be here? So the last chapter of my story is a guy named Henry in France that I don't know if he just had adventure in him to go to a new land or if he was forced to do you know for him to come from France to Canada or even you know one of my grandfathers that was in Canada was like you know what I'm gonna move to Rhode Island I'm gonna start my own business like that takes balls like you know like I honor that so the whole point of this is that if you look at your forefathers and what they endure or the choices that they made or the life that they lived you know, they did everything they could to stay alive. And maybe some of those generations were easy. I'm sure a lot more harder. But when I think about me, I'm like, well, how am I living my life in the golden era of like ease? I mean, what I mean by easy is the amount of opportunity that is around you. Incomes, jobs, like working remote, the internet, like all these things that we just take for granted. The exercise that I put in or like the work I'm putting in, I'm thinking, oh man, like I'm exhausted. Like, when I think about being lazy or I think about how I live with the distractions of like watching TV all the time or playing video games, I'm sure there was a guy in my family line that was like in a cave somewhere like starving, hoping to eat a rat like, you know, one time a week. And that was probably reality. I don't really know that to be true, but I, it's pretty safe to say that was the case. Where my family name came, came from, I don't think there's anything to do out there really, but to be back there where Henry was at, you know, I'm really excited about that to honor his journey because without him being in France, going over to Canada, point blank fact, I would not be here today doing this video. And that does make it special. And all of you guys that are watching this, you have the same specialness too. You just got to take the time to go back and look. Anywho, hope this was insightful. Appreciate you guys. Drop some comments below. Let me know how you're doing. And I will see you guys on the next video.